Well, I actually had a great experience um, in between college and law school. I found myself in the early 1980s uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, with an interest in civil liberties and also the ability to uh, set up uh, personal computers, which were then becoming available um, probably before a lot of you guys were born. Uh, but that's okay. Um, and I don't know if people were particularly interested in my interest in civil liberties, but um, I certainly got to meet a lot of people and set up computers and, and you know, printers and started to think more and more uh, about um, the implications of new technology and its impact on privacy. And I guess I came to two conclusions. I mean, one was that privacy was going to be very important as people became more dependent on computers, uh, but also that it would be really important to understand how the technology was used, to be you know, an active uh, participant. Because uh, I think up to that time, a lot of people who cared strongly about privacy uh, really stood at a distance. And they said, well, you know, if you're concerned about privacy, maybe you shouldn't use a computer. Just like people today say to me, oh, you're concerned about privacy, why are you on Facebook? And I said, well, because that's where people are and I want to talk with them about privacy. <laughs> so um, that's kind of where I started and that's, uh, I guess, still where I am. <laughs>